And the last time MCS took on Nova was in the semifinals back in July when they qualified. And Lenade did get a three star in that match with Queen Charge Hogs. Lenade trying to get this E drag on the last line of defense. That multi target oh. was the only thing left, Garvin. He it. He's going to go through with the Grand War. Takes it down with 51 seconds left on the board. He has the balloons on the top side. Minions and pumps with the cleanup. It looks like Lenade is going to be kicking it off to get the first three star of the Grand Finals for MCES. Lenade hitting it at 90. Destruction. Can he answer the call? What Hugo just did with the triple for MCES. Ladies and gentlemen, Lenade might be getting another three star for MCES. When life gives you lemons, you make Lenade turn him into a three star. The balloons are unstoppable. What's going on guys welcome back to clash with eric guys we're over here in alternate attacks today where we have a lot of the players that are up on the very top of the leaderboards play with the pro team alternate attacks they used to be known as j off and they just got signed and a couple of these players were at the world championship of clash of clans last year namely lenade was playing for mcs we have boom who was playing for tribe gaming and we have valley or valley however you say it but that was playing for tribe gaming as well so Lots of really, really good players here and some newcomers that have been rocking the Clash of Clans scene for a long time, just haven't really made their pro debut until now. We have AST and JoJo and all these guys are crazy, crazy good players. But today we'll be watching Lenade as he goes into Legend League and tries to climb the last uh, two days of Legend League leaderboards here and see how high he can get. So right now, I believe he's number 16 in the world. So let's see where he's at. Lenade is currently number 17. So we dropped down a little bit as other people are starting to bring in their attacks here. So as we go into these final two days here, let's see how they can get. Let's see how high they can get. Make sure you guys hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to use code Eric. All right, guys, just to get us warmed up here, we're gonna go check out Lenade's attacks that he did right before we started recording here. And he's gonna do the rest of his attacks live. So we'll watch two attacks here and see what he did already for his first attacks of the day. And that's our going to start him two for two for the day. And we'll see how he continues as we move throughout. But guys, this guy is a crazy, crazy attacker. And a lot of these uh, bases they're going to be fighting are also really, really good. Like these guys are also the top players on leaderboards that they're matched against. So it just kind of shows you how good these players are to be able to react, get three stars, and then also defend. I don't know what their bases look like. They're not willing to give those up, but you know what? If other players run into them in Legend League while we're doing this uh, this special here on the Legend League uh, stuff, then maybe we can catch their base designs. Otherwise, we're just going to catch all kinds of other awesome base designs from the other Legend League players here on the tops of the boards here. So, looks like he came in here with a Queen Walk. He's got the Super Wall Break selected, and uh, he's got Goblins in his Siege Barracks. So, if you watch the end of the episode yesterday when we did this with boom then boom talked about why they've been using the goblins inside of the siege barracks it makes so if they're going to get an anti two-star base with an islanded off center town hall they can switch to a blimp and they can still sight the town hall with the goblins and the in the blimp they just drop it in there the hogs if they're inside a ward ability can actually escape otherwise the goblins go into fast cleanup here and he uses it with the siege barracks and the king over on the other side as you see he's probably dropped the siege barracks somewhere up in the trash up here as the hogs might have sweeping the town hall late approach to the eagle but you know you got to get the town hall down first and you just got to take the eagle strikes the queen's healer is getting targeted here a little bit as he starts to drive in there goes the siege barracks up in the top corner drops out the pekka and you'll have six hogs and five sneaky goblins inside of there so the queen ends up going to the channel here avoiding the range of that single inferno like just barely Hawks and struggling to get into the scatter shot here. Heal comes down in the tornado trap as well. But look at the pack up on the top side doing work there with all the siege barracks troops there. Like the siege barracks is insane. It's definitely one of the strongest CCs in the game. And the only thing they can really compare to it is the blimp itself. And that's because the blimp is so targeted and it can go straight to the town hall and guarantee that two star. And this strategy encompasses both of those into the same thing. That's why it's so versatile. And that's why these players are using it. So Lenade clearly 
is overwhelming this base here. His queen's gonna break through the wall there. She'll pop her ability, get to the single inferno, and potentially get to that enemy royal champion. Looks like his royal champion's got it under control though. And there we go. Get to the wall. Pop your ability, get to the single. There it is. Freezes it instead. Gonna get out of it with a swag queen ability. A couple balloons. Super wall breaker comes to the backside. Didn't need those. The queen never went through any walls. She uh she let she's uh she thought about it over here. She thought about it, but she didn't actually go through. So we're gonna go check out Linnade's other attack that he already did today, and then we'll go right into the live attack. So don't go anywhere, guys. This is gonna get crazy. This is gonna get crazy. All right, nice hit. Nice hit. Man, these are these are beautiful. These are absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, here's this other one. And this one, recognize that name? Recognize that name on defense, Stephanie? Mr. and Mrs. Dr. Muchitaba as they start to clan up here for the end of the Legend League leaderboard season. And uh, start to get ready to make the top clans in the world here. I get all I bet all of these players are gonna start to group up into the top clans and start to congregate. And it's gonna be the fair play community against the Dr. Muchitaba community. And we'll see who comes out on top. Usually the Chinese have a pretty strong showing as well. And they definitely show up in numbers i think a lot of the japanese and korean players generally stick around with the fair play community here and stay with uh players like linade and boom and a lot of the other ones that we're gonna see at the very tops of the leaderboards here so linade working his way around the town hall super wall breaks initially into the single inferno and then gives another one to draw the cc so he got a witch and no two witches and a dragon out of there so we can make quick work of that I like that. Now we can fight the CC in a safe area. Using the wall breakers not only give Max the town hall, but also pull the CC. And so we can deal with it outside the range of that single inferno. And so single infernos relative to the CC range is always a big challenge that people have to work with. He frees up the town hall because his healer approach angle was a little bit off, but that's also going to carry him through the single inferno. He gets through it. Does he get through the queen as well before he uh, has to do anything with his queen? He's got his... Oh, look at this. One healer dies, and he immediately provides tanking with the blooms. That's really smart there. Give the queen's healers a break, and now he has a siege barracks and the king coming in over at the 8 o'clock area. They're going to drive into that enemy king, takes out the bomb tower, hogs the minor sweeping through. Queen ends up surviving. She still has her ability intact, so she'll be able to use that later. But let's see where she goes as the Hogs Miners continue to sweep to the base here. King on the outside pops his ability, working through some tests up there after he takes down the king. All kinds of wizards, sneaky goblins going to get in there, and they're going to relieve some of the storages and stuff off of the king. And uh, he's got hogs coming out of there too. Looks like the hogs are going to take out that uh, wizard tower in the corner as the rest of the push is going to continue in through the core here. The road champion trying to work away in the single inferno. The miners out in front of him. But you know what? Miners are not that great for providing cover for the uh, for a champion but they got through quick enough huge surge of minus there take down the single inferno in droves and this one is clearly triple the queen is never gonna have a chance to rejoin she is going from wall to wall to wall holding on to her healers would have loved to healer switch there she was gonna abandon the group there but gets out of it with a swag queen ability and Linade once again making it look easy now it's time to go dive into their live attacks because Linade is ready and he is about to go live so guys let's go dive into this all right guys Linade is live let's see what he can do here also known as Val very good guy met him at the world championship and this guy is a beast when it comes to Clash of Clans attacking I mean you can't do that well that consistently and play at that level for such a long time unless you are one of the best in the world and he has always been able to prove that so let's see what he does here he's got a queen charge hybrid he's got the blimp so I think they've been normally running it with the siege barracks and then whenever the center town hall with those goblins inside of the CC they can quickly switch out he's got the super wall breakers here on top of that and like they don't get the super wall breakers or super wall breakers the whole season which makes this attack a lot easier because he can wall break through anything but charging the single inferno like starting right into it freezes it up Loon comes down actually gonna potentially pull a black mine there because he's going right close to that air defense Which is where a lot of people like to hide their black mines baby dragon drives him in He can get in here and get the scatter shot, but he's got to get that CC pull Rage comes down perfectly placed All right, the Queen is veering over towards the CC range and then hopefully she goes back and goes over to the scatter shot otherwise he's gonna have to start the Hogs and the miners into the scatter shot looks like he is uh looking like he's it looked like <laughs> it looks like I just said it looks like like 10 times in a row. 
it looks like the queen is not going to go back that way and he's already banking on it and he's getting ready to send the hogs and miners off in that direction so here they come queen finishing off the cc there last witch still on the other side the poison there pops the ward ability to protect the blimp as it makes its approach to the town hall that'll activate it and then hogs are going to come out of there and i don't know if they're going to die We'll see if they die to the Town Hall Blast, but a couple of hogs actually split off from the main group and go to it, but the goblins end up taking the Town Hall, and the Warden ability actually, or the, the Warden Aura, I guess I should say, ends up saving those hogs so they can work their way forward, pop into a heal, and they can get topped off, and they're going to survive the actual push there. So the Queen breaking through a wall. She'll actually break to the outside here in just a second, and she'll go take out the Eagle and the enemy Queen. Let's see if, you can get, if she can get there in time. Pops her ability. There it is. Gets the Queen. Miners on the outside. Bloom comes down to try to get off the the arch tower that's in the corner there. He's got a lot of the miners that have broken to the outside now, but he's at the front champion still working through. She goes down to the ground expo. The queen, she's gonna run out of steam here. Does she get that eagle artillery down in time? She gets it down. That's a big thing right there to get that eagle artillery down. He's got the healers going over to a couple of archers. That's not ideal. He needs those archers to die so the healers go back to the main group. This is going to be close. This is going to be really close. A bunch of Tesla's down in the bottom corner here as he continues to try to fight through these Expos. No more heals. He's just coasting now. It was a fantastic attack, even if it doesn't turn into a triple here. Warden goes down. Miners are looking like they're not quite going to be able to finish this out. It is very, very close. It was a very well-structured attack. It just didn't quite pan out for him. And uh, I mean, it's going to be high percentage. He'll still get some decent trophies out of it. And hopefully it's enough to pr propel him up in the top 10 of the world here. So nice hit by Linade. Just not the triple this time. But he's already got two triples like we saw just a second ago. So, I mean, he's already doing really good here. He's got to keep going though. All right, Linade's back in. Here we go. All right. Going against, oh, look at this, look at this, he's going against MCS, his old clan, his old clan. Let's see what he can do here. Starting off with the king, and I guess he's going to try to walk this area into the town hall. He's already got a funnel out there. The queen, if she takes the archer tower there, she should turn back and she should stay inside and go into the channel there. So, I have a funky base here. I have a funky base. In fact, I think the same base we saw we saw Boom hit it yesterday during his Sledge League attacks. So, I mean, it's yesterday for you guys if you're watching these videos in the order that they came out. But it was uh, a couple minutes ago for me so <laughs> because uh, we're watching both of them alternating as I uh, watch these attacks here. So, it looks like he wall broke to give access to the scatter shot as well. Is that a good idea? Did he want that extra access there? Or would have been better if he would have left that closed and uh, made sure the queen went to the town hall guaranteed. Because if he does it the same way that Boom did it, then Boom came with his king and the siege breaks up the top corner. But no, Linnaeus is going to go opposite. He's going to have his queen push to the scatter, pop her ability. They'll take the scatter and take the enemy queen. He's going to have the hogs and miners go through the town hall. Completely different approach here on the same base. Coming in with the same queen charge, but diverts her off. And then uh, has the Hogs and Myers come in opposite side. So we'll see what he can do with it. All single throws on the back side. He freezes, tries to catch the, the scatter shot and the eagle artillery in the same freeze there. Barely misses it. Hogs come out of the siege barracks. And the goblins are going to go straight to clean up, join that P.E.K.K.A. I really, really like this idea with the goblins. That's so versatile in Legend League to be able to take out a center town hall. And I mean, the goblins going to clean up on this style of attack. I guess a center town hall, they just do whatever, you know? <laughs> they, they take the town hall, I should say. They don't just do whatever. The goblins take the town hall and then the hogs have the chance to escape if the warden is nearby. So, I mean, that's really cool. Does he get this though? The queen and the royal champion trying to work their way into the single inferno. There's a lot of miners still up. The queen is going to get targeted. The red champion got targeted. He's going to take out the last defense. They'll drive the hogs into the single inferno. He's got the healers still there. He's got archers and wizards all along the back side. Now, does the single inferno go down? Loon trying to work his way in as well. Here comes the miners. The miner brigade is arriving. They're going to get that three star. They're going to take out the last inferno. And there we go. Linade lands his triple against 
his old teammate over there in MC. Yes, that was awesome. Nice hit, Linade. Getting it done. That's uh, that's three now for him. That's three. All right, guys. Linade is in. What's he got here? What's he got in this one? He's got... All single infernos inside of the base here. Kind of a weird shaped base. Like a big old heart. Like stacked hearts, you know? I like it. It's a cool looking base. Doesn't look easy either. Pulls a CC. Starting off with this uh, queen charge, as usual. Go for the super wall break. Even with all the CC, gets it to the giant bomb. Super wall breakers are so insane. They're so insane. They make these queen charges look easy. And if you saw Boom's attacks yesterday, he was doing the same strategy, but he was doing it without super, or he was doing it with regular wall breakers, not super wall breakers. So pay attention to what he has in a CC there. He doesn't have a CC siege machine selected. So let's um keep an eye on that. Let's keep an eye on what he switches to. I guess he's going to probably switch to a siege barracks, right? That would make the most sense. Wizard comes down on the flank, gets immediately sapped by that uh, Grand Warden statue just inside the range of it. Misjudged that just slightly, but an archer comes down, and the archers are stand just outside the range. All right. Queen stepping up, gets another expo down, gonna fight out the king. Town Hall's not activated yet. He's got the king coming in the top corner with the siege barracks. He did switch to the siege barracks, thought he would. Queen takes that town hall, get it down. Now, where's she gonna go from here? No, she went down. She went down. I thought she might go up there. That's going to make that uh, scan shot immediately turn on the hogs and the miners as they push in. Pops the early ward ability to protect them. Coming on the scatter shot side. Now he's going to have to freeze the other scatter shot and the eagle artillery together. He gets it perfectly. And that's going to drive these miners into the middle. Protected. He's got one more heal to work with. He freezes it again. Keeping that entire group of hogs and miners protected as he drives in the middle. He's got a couple bomb towers here. He's going to have to fight through those. But if you get the scatter shots down, he can work his way around those. He's got hogs that came out of the siege barracks. They're going to go right to the bomb tower before they go to the single inferno. But look at the P.E.K.K.A. breaking through the wall up there as the queen finishes off the entire bottom of the base. The king went all the way around. This is looking like a three star. Lenade making it look so easy. How do the guys do it? They make this attack look so incredibly easy. Like, I feel like I'm pretty proficient in this attack. And these guys are on a whole other level like it's weird when you're already like considered one of the elite in the world and then these guys come out here on a whole nother level and just blow your mind away look at this they get it done here Lenade landing another triple that's another one of the record books right there that's another one of the books let's see what that puts him on the leaderboards here as he continues to climb there he is number 13 in the world right now Still going up. Still going up. Let's keep watching. All right, guys. Here he goes again. It looks like Gaku's doing his attacks as well, but Lenade is way up on these trophy leaderboards right now. So we're not going anywhere, guys. He just mentioned in the chat that he just took two, three stars on defense as well. So that's going to set him back a little bit. And um, I mean, everybody's up attacking. We're in the final two days of Legend League leaderboards. So the competition is fierce, but let's see what Lenade does here. Fighting a troll Tesla right off the bat. Got a lot of firepower right around this town hall. He's got all ground expos protecting his eagle side. So many people are using all ground attacks that people are running all ground expos and they're making some work with it. Or they're doing some work with it. Making some work? I don't even know. I can't even speak. I'm so excited. All right, guys. Lenade going to start this punch in here. I guess he'll probably go for... Uh, I guess he's going to go around the town hall here. Dangerous spot to engage a single inferno there. Watch the single inferno range. Watch the CC range there. Let's see how he does this. Locks onto the single inferno. He's gonna have a hound come in his direction. Freezes up the single inferno right as it reaches his peak beam. Poison comes down. All right, now he's gonna want to start the hogs and miners before his queen can get locked onto again. Here they come. Get that single inferno distracted. He still has a queen ability, so we can save her one more time. And if he can get the damage off of her. And get the beams transferred over to the hogs and miners. Then he can save her. And that'll give her enough time to get through it. He's uh, he's alive there. He's alive. But he's running out of resources to save this queen. Out of freezes. But they did their job. 
and he formed a serious funnel here. The Siege Barracks and the King up at the top side. The King fought off the enemy King, and the Siege Barracks is dropping out those sneaky goblins. They're going to clear trash on the outside really, really quickly, and he has the Wizards there working with them. They're going to get the, all that trash cleared and keep these miners centered very, very smoothly as he pushes in the final area here. It's looking really good here. The Queen stayed alive. The Hogs and Miners push in, but four Expos and all those cannons firing down on them. Can he make it through? Royal Champion pops their ability, swinging right through the Expos, causing some serious damage on the highest hit point structures there. And uh, sometimes it's not what you want. Sometimes you want that Royal Champion hitting the lower hit point structures so she actually destroys them. But in that case, it worked out nice because it helped him get him down faster. And this one is going to be the triple against the Great Fotini. And that is what we're talking about, guys. Lenade getting it done. Oh, geez. He's, I might be late to this attack here. Let's see. No, he's just getting started. Here we go. Going against one of the Dr. Mujtaba Stephanie people here. Here we go. Center Town Hall. Rage is on the entry. Super wall break in the top corner. Going to take out the Royal Champion. Should step in. Another wall break comes in. Going to try to push this queen all the way into the scatter shot. Pulls the CC. Now he's under double expo fire and he's going to be under the scatter shot in just a second. But he got the CC pull before engaging the scatter shot. A couple of troll Teslas there popping up heavy on the Teslas right in this area here with all the heroes packed in that area. Interesting base. See if you can push through it. So, oh, look at this. He's got the king and the siege breath coming the other side. Now, if he gets in the hogs and the miners right in between, he can engage that queen really, really quick. And he can save his own queen as she continues in here and actually get her to turn and push into the scatter shot here. Frees up the scatter shot. Rages he continues to fight the king there. Taking the damage off from that king while he can, uh, or taking the damage of the defenses off so we can work on the king, focus on that, and make the queen survive. She'll turn back. Now the Hogs Miners has stolen her targets. She pushes up. She's going to engage the scatter shot there in just a second, but she's holding the fire of it and keeping it off of the Hogs and Miners. Hogs come out of the Siege Barracks. He's got the Super Goblins that have gone over and joined with the P.E.K.K.A. Joined with the Wizards. They're going to continue on there. Ward ability through the Town Hall. Queen survives. She takes out the Archer Tower. Continue along the top side. Look at this P.E.K.K.A. doing work on the bottom side. And the Super Goblins searching out ahead of them. They end up dying out there. But you know what? They cleared the way and they get the Miners nice and centered. That works out so nice. Royal Champion getting targeted. He has the Freeze here. But he has the Miners targeting the last single inferno and it's looking like it's going to be another three star here from Lenade. as there's not a lot left to this base here he still has this royal champion alive and unfortunately there's still that single inferno so he's still got a freeze he can work through it look at this he is transferred off of the queen onto the royal champion is that gonna be enough to get through freezes up the single inferno the baby dragon tanking the archer tower there for just long enough for the Royal Champion to sneak in there. She gets the single inferno down. That's exactly what it needs. The healer switch back to the queen. And it's going to be another three star from Lenade. So, man, this guy's good. <laughs> Holy cow. That's insane, guys. That is absolutely insane. That's going to propel him up to number four in the world right there. Man, that is that's so crazy. That is so crazy. All right, guys. Final attack of the day. After this attack, there's only eight more attacks until the Legend League season comes to an end. Lenade coming in here for his final base of the day. Let's see what we can do. Going against Mega Chandri from Mega Empire. What does he got? Well, how do you want to approach this base? I guess, um, does he want to go for the blimp on this one? Or can he funnel it correctly and get access to the town hall? Always the question of the day here. I guess he can uh, push the queen in and he can trim out this air defense. If he can get this side out, then he can get the miners to go through the town hall and then shoot into the other side. Like if he get quick access from the town hall into the other scatter shots, but he's got to get the CC dealt with. This queen has to punch in and she's got to deal with that CC. And he only has limited amounts of troops that he can use to funnel here. Grab the super wall break. Now, do they actually go in? Super Wall Break gets popped by that uh, scatter shot there, but they should still go in. Another Super Wall Break comes down. Opens up the whole area there. The Baby Dragon comes down, and the balloons to go snipe out the Arch Tower. Not only take the damage off the back of the Queen there while she's already tanking it, but that uh, balloons will continue along there. Probably get the Mortar as well. Here comes the CC into the single Inferno. Rage is up. Does he need to freeze? There's the freeze. Perfect. Gets the Expo as well. 
Lots of small CCs. He's gonna have to trickle out there and deal with it. King comes down on the other side. He'll step up and fight the Royal Champion there while the Pekka goes into the Teslas. And here comes the Mahogs and the Midas. It's pushing in and they should have easy access to the Town Hall. It's looking really good here for the Nade for his last attack of the day. Where will this put him on the Legend League leaderboards? It's gotta be in the top three, right? He was number four going in his attack. Should he end this attack at number three or number two in the world? If he can get the triple, it's going to propel him up there. Pops of Warren ability, takes the town hall and into the final scatter shot. The queen got one scatter shot. She'll continue on there. She might break to the outside. I think she will. I think she'll break to the outside there. She'll wrap around as the hogs come out of the siege barracks. Look at the, the goblins once again, ripping along the outside there and, uh, like speed up the speed up the wizards a little bit there, but mainly I think it's for the miners to stay central here. And it's looking like this is wrecked, guys. There's so many troops left. He still has a royal champion ability. He can swag it at the end there. And Lenade lands another one. I lost count of how many that was. I I think I just completely lost count. There's a lot of triples. A lot of triples. These guys are insane. These guys are insane. All right, guys. Let's see what the final score is. He is number three in the world. We're going to grab a screenshot of that. And that, my friends, is we're going to wrap up today's video. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. And we will have more of the top players in Legend League coming up here soon. So make sure you guys are back. Because coming up, we're going to have uh, Vitang. We're going to have uh, Young Hoon from Vitang. And we're also going to have klaus from queen walker so lots of really really fantastic players coming up here in the next couple days so subscribe to the channel now and come back for more all right guys take it easy i'll see you in the next one